Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Wasteland 3. Today we're going to get the Morning Star AI. So, we're still in the beginning. Still got the first chassis, level one. So you need um, you need level two to go get him. But after you get Valor back from uh from the Gipper. He uh, he talks to you when you come out of Denver, but because I got the truck towed to the headquarters, the dialogue doesn't start till now. But usually it starts when you're in Denver. Ranger Command calling Team November. Uh, got something strange for you. Found a list of pre-war military radio frequencies here at HQ and started checking through them. All dead except one. Don't know if it's a hoax or a trap or what, but I thought you should hear it. Up to you if you want to respond. The signal originates near your current location. Anyway, I'll patch you through. SOS, SOS, Secret Service Officer Morningstar requesting aid. I am trapped in a compromised location with hostiles closing in. I require immediate extraction. Does anyone read me? SOS, SOS. This is the Ranger, we read you. I'm sorry, but before I can reveal anything about myself, I have to know who you are. This frequency is for authorized United States military personnel only. Are you authorized United States military personnel? We're from the 253rd Engineer Battalion of Arizona National Guards. One moment. One moment. Well, either you made an incredibly lucky guess, or you are who you say you are. Alright, I guess I'll have to trust you. I am, well, I hesitate to go into detail even on a secure channel. Let's just say I serve America and everything it stands for. While on assignment, I became trapped in an old military facility near Denver. I cannot disable the facility security from within, but I can guide you to where you can open it from the outside. Okay, how did you get trapped there? That's not important. What is important? Free me. Now will you help or not? Hey, cut that attitude. Maybe you won't help you, motherfucker. What kind of name is Morningstar? That's a silly question from someone named November. Or Echo One. Um We do have time. We don't have time for it right now. This smells like an ambush. We're going to pass. I suppose your distrust is understandable. But this is a matter of life and death for me. I must hope that you will change your mind. If you can find Denver's Union Station, then I can guide you the rest of the way. Keep this channel open, and I'll contact you again. Please, find me. Morningstar, out. Alright, so he's right here. Oops, wrong one. Uh, he's right here. But, you need a radiation too. Um... Chassis. But we don't have it, and it costs, it's pretty expensive, so what you can do is just come over here, do a bunch of shit down here, and then just have enough. Right now, we don't miss it. Um, we only have 1397. So, we gotta do more. So, we'll go to Morningstar number 2. Let's see if we can get some more money. Morning star number two. That's number three. Morning star number two. So now we, we did a bunch of shit down at the bazaar and all that. We got more money. Come back to the Head Rangers. Damn. Headquarters. So now we did a bunch of shit. We got 2,999. That's this guy. Of course he's prey on Arapaho trucking. Maybe putting old Neelius in the ground will make him think twice. So, we'll see what you got for sale. Let's see if we can find what you want. So that's our chassis. This is a... That's a level 1 chassis that we had. Is it level 2? We need a level 2 chassis. Level 2 radiation. It's um. Uh, 
1782 buy it here put that on chassis so now we got this one put that on now we can head out to Morningstar without getting killed Otherwise, um, the radiation will kill you. It's pretty much like a plot, tr um, what's it called? Plot gate, where they, you know, you can't advance. So, we still here, see, we still didn't go anywhere yet. We just went to the bazaar and did a bunch of shit. Did the, um, monster, uh, thing, monster quest. So, we're gonna take here and go all the way up here. Good thing I already did that, so we're gonna load number three. Morning star four, morning star three. Otherwise, you might get into like random fights and all that shit. So we're here. So we went from there all the way up like that, right here to the Union Station. Go inside. We have to face fish lips. He's gonna test us if we're strong enough to keep going in, or we're gonna get our asses killed. This gang's called the Hardhead. So this is uh, one of the early trailer in um, Wasteland 3. Who the fuck are you? When they first showed the this first is hard trailer, or oh, not trailer, the first demo. Just attack him. Hardheads, it's dinner time. Every time you attack, you get to go first. So, crouch. Put some of this on. 83. Crouch. This own. Get a spot on him in the hand. Hit him with the Execute truck. Hardhead rules. Whoever beats the boss is, is the, the boss. boss. You beat me, fine. I have an idea. You guys are strong, which is the only thing I respect in this shithole of a world. But you ain't brutal enough to deal with the worst that's out there. Take me with you, and that could be my job. What do you say? Sure, we need someone that's brutal. Is right. Brutal. Now, let's go fuck some shit up. All right. So we got heart. We got fish lips. Now we're gonna go. Load the next one, which we already uh, kill all the enemies. So there's two things, two little things we gotta do before we get into the Morning Star. Mm, one's right here, the radio beacon. Then we gotta do a, a, a puzzle right here. And then we gotta go in there. So you gotta go up here first. Fight everyone here. Come right here. Yeah, there's a battle in here that you have to fight. Hey, what? Oh, really glad we're friends. There's a 7 pick lock, but we can't pick it and you can't shoot either. There's a couple mines here, I think that's a level 5 or something explosion. But you can go through the back here. Put yourself in this device. Please be advised, unauthorized users will trigger automated defense. If alarm sounds, 
lie on the floor with your hands behind you, you until a security team arrives in whatever that is minutes error unable to query security team warning authentication routine disabled remotely from location uh, morning star garage illegal quality quantity error at safe morning authorized users list compromise error crit art fail warning welcome to backup station alpha user desert ranger please select a menu option or type your query at the prompt so right here select command unlock database unlocking seal database for project morningstar data backups now accessible warning database access remotely from location morningstar garage Remote user rangers, you should now be able to access my prison beneath the ruins union station. Be advised that I have heard gunshots above me. Hostiles may still be in the area. I will now close this interface. See you soon. Let's turn that on. This way, don't go the other way because there's landmines and landmines there that we can't trigger because we don't have enough. Uh... We open this door, we can't open that door, so we gotta go around. <coughs> go through this door, come in here. Unseparate the team. Turn this one on. You need a uh, mechanical nine if you want to skip it. Turn this one on. Okay, you go turn that one back on. You turn this one on or off. I don't know. If it's on or off. And you turn this one on. You turn that on. No. Yep, got them all. See? Come over here. This uh, scotch mode My right there. Place for drinking with people while eating people. It's not nothing in one there, but he don't give a shit. Open this up. I never seen this. Who the yeah. fuck put this here? Make sure you save the game because once you go through this garage, you cannot come back out. Okay, this is only only Morning Star can open this door for you. So once you do this, you're not gonna be able to come back Welcome out. Rangers. When you are ready, I'll open the blast doors. Okay, we're ready. Great. I can't wait to meet you. All right. Open up the door. Okay, there's a sniper book here. Make sure you got the sniper book right there. There's some shit you can do, but we're not here for that. See, there's a Tajin thingy. There's a toaster here for Tajin. Coin. Tajin coin. Um, there's a horn, Night Rider horn. We don't need none of that shit. Okay. So quick save just in case something fucks up. So we can. Let's go in there. There he is. Greetings, Rangers. I am Morningstar. Wow, nice chassis. Heavy duty. Bet you be good on the field. Sadly, I will never know. We'd like to help you, but we have more questions first. Of course. I'm sure the ones topmost in your minds are why was I made and 
How did I become trapped here? Well, it was like this. Before the war, there were several attempts on the life of elder statesman Ronald Reagan. I was built to protect him from harm and allow him to take the fight to his enemies if necessary. Sadly, before I could be completed, the bombs fell and this facility was abandoned. Thus, though the sole reason for my existence has been dead for more than 150 years, I have sat here, alone, aware, and conscious of my failure ever since. It has been unbearable. Um, let's talk about your uh, capability first. Such as they are, I am a worthless piece of scrap. Is your conscious in an intricate part of your body, or was it transferred? Are it transfer, or could it be transferred? It's could, yes. My cognitive circuits were made to be removed for servicing and upgrades as needed, or if an improved version of my body was ever completed. But there's no point to that now. I was built to protect Ronald Reagan, and Ronald Reagan is dead. There is no reason for the continued existence of my... self. Okay, um, <clears throat> can we comp compete, complete you, repair you? That is sadly impossible. I was to be powered by a nuclear engine capable of generating 3,000 horsepower, but the technological breakthroughs necessary to its function never materialized, and no lesser engine would be capable of moving my considerable weight. I am as pathetic as an elephant without muscles. I shall never move. Okay. Thank you for system briefing. Let's go back. Of course. Are you certain you want to die? I have been certain for a hundred and fifty years. All I have been waiting for is some gracious deliverer to answer my call. Alright, let's talk about what you want us to do for you. Thank you. Killing me will be a delicate operation, and not without risk, but it shouldn't take you very long. And. If it will serve as an incentive to help me, you will be able to extract my primary weapon in the process. Payment, as it were. So you can either have the AI or the weapon, you can have both. Uh, you say, actually would like to put you to work, pull your brain out of the vehicle, out of this vehicle and put you in ours. Work? For you? But I was built to protect Elder Statesman Reagan. I have no other purpose, and I failed in that purpose. Death is my only option. And if I were to die, perhaps God might permit me to at last see President Reagan, as I have longed to do all this time. Okay, so you have Nerd 8 or more, you could do this. You say you were programmed to believe these things? So it's not you who are absolute, but your programming. Let us fix that. Let us give you a new purpose. You... You would just rewrite my brain? Change my personality? My beliefs? No! I am... I... Am... Cold cheese. Am I? <laughs> like in Wasteland 2, towards the end? I am... I am cold cheese. Strangers. This love of the elder statesman, this guilt of my failure to protect him, has been a weight on me heavier than my armor. I do not wish to forget what the president means to me. And yet, if I could move on without dying, if I could do something to prove that my life has not been a pointless joke, I... 
I would be always in your debt. But you must promise me that you won't erase him from my heart. You must promise me I will still be... me. We promise, because look, we got the American flag right here. Promise, baby. We promise, Morning Star. Here we is with your American flag. <laughs> 